Hey everyone, Derek here from Wayscript. In this one, let's look at how we can use Python and SQL to automatically update Airtable rows. Let's get started. Starting out, we'll go to wayscript.com and we'll click on create a new script. This one will be Airtable automation with Python and SQL example. And then we'll click on create. For the specifics of this example, let's pull data from an SQL database, we'll process it using Python, and then we'll plug it back into an Airtable to save those records. If we want this action to occur daily, we can use a time trigger. We'll go up to Packages and type in Time. We'll import and drag this in. Here we get the option to run this daily, by the minute, hour, or week, or month, or more. We also allow you to use a custom advanced, and you can type your own cron syntax into our time trigger. We'll leave it as the day for now. If we want to store these records daily, let's use the daytime module. So we'll import this and drag it below. This will just give us a variable that we can pass to our Airtable later on. We can see this variable here. This is what we'll write to Airtable along with the SQL data that we'll process using Python. Next, we'll click off of this and we'll import SQL. SQL by default is imported, so all we need to do is drag it below our daytime module. We can select our database that we want to work with. In this example, let's use the first matching row, and then we'll edit our code. I'll write something simple for mine, such as select sum, and we'll sum up a column from my table named survey. We'll run this code, and we'll import it by clicking on the import column, and this gives us a new variable that we can pass on to Airtable. This query here could be something far more complex, so if you wanted to do something much more, you could. Now we'll click on Done Editing. At this point, let's use Python to process this information. We'll click off, and we'll drag in Python. Moving it under SQL, we can edit code the same way that we did with the SQL module. We'll click on Edit Code. If we want to work with variables from other modules, it's pretty simple. We can reference them using the Variables Dictionary that Wayscript provides. In this example, we'll say sum a will be equal to the variables dictionary where column 0 is the key. Column 0. Now, if we were to print sum a, we should get back this number in our log, which we do. At this point, there's limitless possibilities on how we could process this data. So, in this example, let's just do something simple and times this by 2. We'll say sum b will be equal to the integer value of sum a times 2. And then we'll print sum b. Running this, we now have a processed piece of information that we can pass on to Airtable. We can do this by using this variables dictionary again and saying sum b is equal to the value of sum b. Once we run this, we have this variable down here that we can pass on to Airtable. Clicking on Done Editing and dragging this up, let's pull in Airtable. This one we'll have to import, and we can drag it below Python. If you haven't used Airtable before with Wayscript, there's a little bit of setup that you have to do to connect your account. If you need help, I have a video linked in the description below to help you out. But working through this, let's change my API key to my Wayscript Tutorials key the table is called information. In this one, let's create a new record. We'll build data. So we'll create the three columns. Once we have those columns, we'll say date time. We'll pull in this variable. Then we'll say sum a. We'll pull in that variable that we get from SQL. And then let's say sum b. This one will be that process Python information. So we'll drag those. And now, if we want this to run daily, we can turn this on using this switch, or we could just run this manually by clicking this play button. Let's go over to Airtable to make sure that this works. Once we go to Airtable, we see that it worked, writing to our information table the values that we provided in the script. And that's it for this one. I hope it shows you just how powerful Wayscript is and how rapidly we can stand up these applications using it. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let us know and we'll get back to you. Until next time.